Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Videocon Vida TV to any Android phone using Chromecast but then there is one condition that you need to have uh, a Wi-Fi connection or Wi-Fi internet lines in your home. It will not use internet lines but it will definitely you know route it from that point onwards. And for this we need uh, a Chromecast, a basic Chromecast version and then you can see the back side of the TV which has uh, two HDMI port and two USB port so we'll fix up this uh, HDMI port here and then we're going to fix this power supply here once you do that it will look like this and once that is done properly then you can see yeah then you can see an LED red LED which is glowing here so once this setup is done then you can start your TV and you just go to so once that is done you can just go to your TV uh, you can visit to the section uh, source and then you have to change the setting from HDMI 1 which is ideally a cable connection to HDMI 2 because we have fixed up the Chromecast on to HDMI 2 once you do that then and also you can see this uh, Wi-Fi connection is sorry this uh, uh, Chromecast is connected to the Wi-Fi of my premises so now it's saying uh, you know reconnect me the bedroom TV is connected to but can't access the internet check your internet connection is working so once your internet connection is working it does not use internet connection but it needs the active line so once you connect it the display would be like this so further we need to use the mobile phone I'll show you that part once that is done now you can use your Android phone and type mirror screening and then go down you just find this software here which says uh, uh, mirror screening for Samsung Smart TV though the software is for Samsung Smart TV we can still use it for uh, video on TV so the software is already installed I am just opening it and let's see what exactly is uh, visible once the software is installed so after you install the software you can see the software says start connection then you press the start then you have uh, once you click the connection then you have bedroom TV connected and then you can see that your TV already have a mirror screen available here. so you just press the menu button and uh, then you can just go to anything any software what you want to access it.